We became friends first. We fell in love and got married. And now we're starting a family together. Honestly, I can't believe it's been one year already. I can't believe it either. It's gone by so fast, you guys. I remember February 22nd telling Jeff that I was pregnant and then we were married three weeks later at the courthouse. And a lot of the video that we're gonna see today, you guys are gonna see with us for the first time. We haven't even seen all of our wedding no, footage. No, we haven't. So I'm kind of pumped to check the rest of this out. I feel like that day was a blur for us um, because I think we couldn't wrap around our heads yet that Okay, you're pregnant. I mean, we, like I said, we had just found out three weeks um, before that I was pregnant. And I was completely thinking we were getting married in Mexico. You know, I got everything lined up. I was stressing him out with flowers. Yeah, because a kid wasn't stressing me out or anything. Yeah, I was, I was stressing him out, I think, at all angles. He was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Looking back, it was pretty hectic, the day. You know what I, I mean? So I mean, it, everything happened so fast from finding out we were having a baby to, oh my God, we're about to get married. So okay. at least you gotta, you gotta look the part. So I looked the part. I was wearing my Lance Bass tuxedo, you know what I mean? You look really nice. It wasn't Lance Bass's actual tux, but I wore it to his wedding. So I call it the Lance Bass tux. And you know what I mean? I look fly, right? <laughs> yes, and that tux <laughs> was only like a hundred bucks. So on the outside, I was looking fly, but on the inside, I was like, I don't know, like, what? It was kind of like a little bit of a blur. I honestly, I was kind of being a brat that day um, because I was so excited about getting married in Mexico. I think you guys, if you watched the YouTube from the very beginning, it was all about planning my wedding. And then... So you weren't excited about getting married at courthouse? I was after we did it. High maintenance over here. No, after we did <laughs> it, I was excited and all the money we saved. So it was... Um, I'm happy we did it that way, but I was being a little bit of a brat at first. Sometimes life is not what you planned. So today, you know, we thought we were gonna be getting married in October in Mexico, but today, you know, life had other plans. And so now we gotta hurry up and get married at the courthouse. Yeah. If we're late to the courthouse, guess what? It's no longer our wedding day because we have to reschedule. Love, let's go. Secretary Clinton, our delegate leader. Luke, what are you doing? That's our neighbor. We don't want to tell anybody we're getting married. <laughs> oh my god. Whipped around. Alright. Off to get married, buddy. This is it. So I don't really remember every single detail, which is why it's gonna be cool to watch this put <laughs> all together, but I do remember almost being late to our own wedding. Do you remember that? Yes. Because we just got news that she was late three weeks before. Now we're about to be late to our own wedding. And... You didn't get that joke? No, I totally got it. <laughs> I did. And the why we were stressing so bad is when we were filling out our paperwork, the lady at the courthouse was like, if you're a minute late... That's right. You she can't did. get married. And we're like... And at the time, I was working at a hair salon, and that was my only day off, and I was like... Right, so you go in there a couple days before to set up the date that you right. want. So we just took the first available date, and she did say, if you guys are one minute late, you can't do it because it's like, you know, they're doing it one every, like, hour. Exactly. So I was, like, freaking out in the car. I remember and, that. of course, there's always traffic in LA we don't live far from Beverly Hills I think it's like five miles to yeah. Beverly Hills but it takes 50 minutes to get there in rush hour traffic you know we have to be there at 945 like the latest that's kind of scary well what does your way say how long why are we why did we go Wilshire it says this way is faster how is there traffic it's nine o'clock people are going to work at nine o'clock people go to work at like seven eight nine LA people start at 10. It's ridiculous. We're getting married on Wednesday morning. That's ridiculous. Oh, I don't want to be late, love. Yeah, because if you're late... It's over. Right? They yeah. don't let you get married? I just want to get in there and get out. Say I do 15 minutes and be done. You think it's going to be like court? Like... Schroeder, like they're pissed, come get married, you know? Or they you know, gonna, when are they I gonna... saw Melissa's, on Ohio Avenue. when she got hers, it was like... 
They try to make it nice. It looked kind of nice. Well, I mean, they made a joke about it too. I mean, they didn't take it like, like she. I'm wore, wearing a tuxedo. Yeah, and it's she, ten o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday. What do you mean we're taking it serious? <laughs> Thanks, boss. Anywhere? Huh? Okay, thank you. We're good. We got ten minutes. Easy peasy. So it turns out we got to the courthouse 10 minutes early. I was just freaking mm -hmm. out because of what the lady said about if you're late. And when we got there, we had to go through security, so I was a little bit more nervous. Yeah. Louis had to stop filming, which on your wedding day, going through a metal detector isn't the most romantic of right. things, among others. <laughs> you know. And then remember the elevator? We got confused on what floor and... Um I don't know. We kept bickering with the guy about what floor we should go to. And we're like, it says two. And he's like, you go to three. Remember? Yeah, and then we get there. And then it's not really like the happiest of moments because whenever you're at that courthouse, you're usually mad because you're paying for a ticket or you're there, <laughs> you know, for jury due. Whatever it is, no one likes going to the courthouse. You know what I mean? It means something in your life isn't going great. So this was a great moment, but in a weird place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so just have a seat again. Let me know when everybody's here and you guys are ready. Every so often I'll come out and check up on you guys as okay, well. Okay, thanks. We'll be right here. All right. <laughs> All right, so let me take this and then get into the same thing. Just let me know when you're All right, so the time is 10 to 10 in the morning here in Beverly Hills, the luxurious Beverly Hills courthouse. The view of the ocean here is amazing. The men's room, the water fountain. Some other strangers getting married that we're sharing a special day with. To be honest with you, I'm not as excited as maybe you should be on your wedding day, right? No. I mean, we're getting, it's basically like we're married. You know what I mean? We've been together for six years, we live together. We had some time to absorb this too, so it's not like, I don't want to ruin it for everybody else. They seem pretty exciting. Is it seem, maybe, I don't know, maybe when we get in there, it'll be, it'll be a little it different. It seems more like, like we're, uh, it doesn't feel real. I think the reason why is because our families aren't here and we have just friends here, and that's probably no offense, Louie. <laughs> Thanks for being I here, buddy. Mean it like that, but none of our families are here, so it just yeah, we have a couple friends. I think maybe when we get in there, um, you know, any kind of situation, anytime you're in a courtroom, it gets serious. So maybe when we get in there. You, my emotions will change a little bit. So my sister just sent me a text message and it said, Happy Wedding Day, congratulations, soak it all in, love you. That's sweet. Yeah. And then my dad wrote, congrats to you both. Yeah. This is a fun-filled day, finally made it legal status, <laughs> laughing out loud. Love you both very much and enjoy this day. Uh, my mom's cousin wrote, Happy Wedding Day. I know it's not what you planned, but thankful you knew this before it ever happened that you and Jeff were made for each other. The timetables got turned around, but in the end, the marriage is what will make it. I know you will be happy. Make it a wonderful day for the two of you. Love you. That's sweet. That's so sweet. Even when we got right outside the courtroom, like, you know, it was go time, it still didn't see, didn't feel real. You no, know what I mean? Because we weren't taking it that serious. But as our friends started to show up, and thank God they did, because we didn't even want anyone to come. It was me, Jordan, and Louie. Um, to start, and I'm like, right. listen, Louis, thanks for filming this. And my friends were like, no, we want to come. And I was like, if you want to, I mean, it's going to be a boring old wedding. But honestly, when they started to come, it started yeah. to get more real, and it really, it meant a lot to me. The the people that came. I'm not saying the people who didn't come, it didn't mean a lot. Just it felt real, and right. it meant more to me that you know some of my good friends showed up. And they brought flowers. I didn't even think about me getting my own flowers, bringing them, but they brought us roses, and that was really sweet. Well, who's coming? Well, listen, that's it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. And we're ready to go. Yeah. It's going down. Yeah. You get married today. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is happening. So when we actually walked in the actual courtroom, I wouldn't call it a courtroom where we got married. It was like a place for a ceremony. We saw pictures on the wall of like Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio, Jessica Alba. So there's some like there's a list of little nostalgic people who got married there. Is that Joe DiMaggio? Marilyn Monroe? Yes, that's it. Yes. For me, I, I think for both of us, the wedding was kind of a blur because once it started, it was it was emotional, and it, you know, having our friends there, like I said, it became more real. And I got nervous, as if there were like a hundred people there. I know. Well, I mean, you know, it's supposed to be one time in your life. Hopefully, it's one time for us. So <laughs> you know, you obviously get that nervous, and like this is it. And like I don't know. It, it was just a, it was a very cool moment, but I don't remember all the details because when you get nervous like that, you tend to like 
blur things out and start thinking about other things. So as we watch this together with you guys, you guys are going to See, relive it with us. Right. So. And Jeff wanted to do uh, vows that day, and I told him, I was like, no, I don't want to do it because I would, knew I would cry, and I didn't want to cry <laughs> yeah. in front of anybody. So I told Jeff, I go, just let the judge do it. And uh, I said that, I think, right before we started. And she did a good job. It was right. a great day. So, guys, enjoy this. Enjoy our special day, and I uh, hope you like it. Okay, this is the day that Jordan, Haley, Lloyd, and Jeffrey Edward Schroeder have chosen to unite their lives in marriage. Today, they begin a union based on love, laughter, and friendship, and lay the foundation for their future life together as a couple. A marriage is not just a ceremony, but a serious commitment to each other built on respect and trust. Each day will be an adventure with many challenges, and together your love and support will be the inspiration to triumph. Will you, Jordan, take Jeffrey to be your spouse and lifelong partner, to live together with love, trust, and respect, and to build a marriage that should become stronger throughout the years? Yes. Will you, Jeffrey, take Jordan to be your spouse and lifelong partner, to live together with love, trust, and respect, and to build a marriage that should become stronger throughout the years? I do. That's great. Yes. Oh, I did. That's kind. Do am I supposed to say I do? Whatever you say is fine. I work. I do. I saw your paper. It said answer yes. So answer I think that's why I said yes. It's all right. Okay. The wedding ring is a treasured gift with no beginning, no end, and no weakness. It symbolizes never-ending love and commitment which you have expressed to each other. So let your rings be a daily reminder of the vows you have exchanged here today. So you take that and put it on your finger. Just push it in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hold her hand. Okay. All right. And tell her these words. Both hands. Accept this ring. Accept this ring. As a symbol of my love and devotion. As a symbol of my love and devotion. As we unite our hearts. As we unite our hearts. And celebrate our life together. And celebrate our life together. Today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And as long as we both shall love. And as both as we both. <laughs> as long. As long as we both, both shall love. love. That's it. Okay. Okay, Jordan, your turn. You have to push it. Big push. Yeah, it. His, uh, he got a little too small. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. And you're going to tell him, accept this ring. Accept this ring. As a symbol of my love and devotion. As a symbol of my love and devotion. As we unite our hearts. As we unite our hearts. And celebrate our life together. And celebrate our life together. Today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And as long. And as long. As we both shall love. As we both shall love. Okay, now that these rings have encircled your fingers, let the love they represent encircle your heart. The magic of love. You can face me now. Okay. True marriage is more than just a ceremony. It's a union of two hearts. It lives on the love you give each other and never grows old, but thrives on the joy of each new day. Marriage is love. May you always be able to talk things over, to confide in each other, to laugh with each other, to enjoy life together, and also share moments of quiet and peace when the day is done. May you be blessed with a lifetime of happiness and a home of warmth and understanding. And by virtue of the authority vested in me as Deputy Commissioner of Civil Marriages, I now pronounce you married under the laws of the state of California. And you may seal these vows with a kiss. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh my God, yeah. oh my God we're married. <laughs> it's on. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> so after the ceremony was all said and done, I of course called my mom, we took some amazing pictures with our friends, and we even got a picture with the little cute judge. Yeah, we did. It's actually on our wall right there. There she is, that little cutie. She was so sweet. All in all, it was an amazing day. It I mean, was. I wouldn't trade it even for Mexico right now, just because it was so us, and we don't do things, we don't do anything traditionally, you know what I mean? So this fit perfect with us. and. We went to the Beverly Hills Hotel, the, this famous 
Palms restaurant for lunch and mm -hmm. we took some great amazing photos. We, we have amazing photos from that. And it was just, it was such a great day and I felt the love from you obviously and from our friends and it was just an amazing day. It was, it was very simple, it was easy. I think we like to get in, get out, Save a couple done. bucks, you know what I mean? Yes, Jeff loves <laughs> to save money. I love a deal. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed our special day. We enjoyed sharing it with you guys, and we'll see you guys soon. And happy anniversary, love. Yes, happy anniversary. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. To the baby. Um, He's in here. Mommy, yeah. daddy. I know. We didn't get married because of you. Actually, we did because we had to get some insurance to cover you. <laughs> but we were still getting married anyways in October. But you saved us some money, buddy. Yeah. How yeah. do you know it's a boy? I said buddy. I could call my girl buddy. You know, okay. Like, she's my buddy. <laughs> All right. What do you got to say? I don't know. It's. You don't a have surprise. a name yet, but that's coming too. I love the name Sailor. How cute is that? He likes um, Joey. I'm thinking, who are you talking oh. to? Who? Um, You're already ignoring the baby? <laughs> um, hopefully your name will be Sailor. I'm going for Jovi because there's another celebrity that named their kid Sailor and it wouldn't be cool. Not like we're celebrities, Jovi, but I'm just saying someone did that. Wow, we were so gunk, like we thought yeah, it was a girl. No, I'm no. nervous, but it'll, everything happens for a reason. Absolutely. Wow, we should have said more. Yeah. Oh man, that was like cute. At least we got a little message out. I don't even remember that. Me neither, me neither. There you are, Papa. Hi, Pee Pee. We just left you a message. They weren't very good, I'm sorry. I'm sorry those messages weren't the best. I thought you were a girl. I know, Mommy thought you were a girl. But you're... Actually, then she convinced me you were a girl. But you're a beautiful boy. We'll give you, we give you messages every day, huh, beautiful boy? Yeah. You were in my tummy. Yeah. Do you want to watch the video? Isn't that going to be crazy? Like, he's going to be able to watch, like, his whole growing up. I know. Because it's YouTube.